to. So we're in the basement. And when they were giving the tour earlier, the whole entire time I felt like I, we were being watched when we were down here. And it came from this room, off this way to the side. Okay, okay, I forget about that. I have to check my Low hands door here. frame. <laughs> yeah, door. this is the liquor room. This is the liquor room. Um, I got the sense of actually weird for a bar, maybe not, of children down here associated with the logging camp because the, the, the period of dress that they were wearing is not current. Um, there's also a man down here that hangs out in shadow form and he watches everybody. People come in here, even if it's to grab something, but they'll always feel watched because he hangs out in the corner behind me. And if they don't come in here and they're just generally downstairs in the area, he'll stand outside the doorway and he'll watch them until they get that uneasy feeling to turn around. And from what I'm getting is maybe a couple of people here that work here have seen the head of the figure peek out and then pop back in the door. So like peek out from this window? Yeah. yeah. He'd peek out enough to where he would see somebody and he would automatically think out of the corner of your eye that maybe it was another one of the workers there or employees, but it's not. It's him. He actually passed away in a fire. And he showed himself in shadow form so this way no one could see the burns that he had on him. Which is weird, but at the same time not weird, because they show themselves many different ways, but he chooses to be in shadow. But um, he was badly burned in a fire around here, back when it was a logging camp. So between out there, and I'll show you out there, He'll move things around too. Like they may hear things moving or the sounds of somebody bumping into something, maybe like rattling. Um, and like I said, if they're like way back there or anywhere around here, they'll catch a shadow. But it's not every single worker, it only happens to certain ones. And that's all I got from here. So we're in the kitchen now. find out. I wonder if they had any experiences of, I get the same feeling that people are in here getting stuff. They feel like something is like literally up on somebody, like they're hovering. And when they look around towards the door, nobody's there. Um, I don't think it's the same person because up here I'm picking up on a female who is in some way connected to the women's room. And she was here from the logging camp also when it was a logging camp. When I'm getting here, things have either been um, moved or even knocked over. Or it's like they'll hear things shift on the shelves here. And it's kind of like the same thing downstairs. They'll get that feeling that when they think somebody's there and they'll look expecting to see somebody, nobody's there. But they clearly saw something out of the periphery. Emotional. She had some high anxiety because you could feel it. She left an, an imprint here.
don't also feel like they're being watched from that corner of the room, oddly enough, where the IR camera is set up. So when they're here, and it's, I, I keep getting the same thing over and over, it's like they're constantly here or there, and they feel like somebody's really on them breathing, and then you turn around and nobody's there. talking about that would knock, that would mess with the shelves, like right on the, the plates. That's the, that would be female associated with this place. Um, she was also part of the, lo the logging camp. She's in period clothing, because it's not anything concurrent to what we wear. Um, she's stuck here because she ended her life here. Do you know how she died? she'll touch them on like the arm or the back of the neck or or like poke them and of course they'll turn around and it'll be there and for some reason she finds that funny like she just messes with people excuse me anything else from this area you know, there is a lot of electrical, like every bar, but yeah. I don't really feel like, Yeah, I don't, think I don't feel the electronic, no, you know, you're, the you're feel, feel, like you don't feel the, the, the effects of the yeah. EMFs coming off of it, right? Because you would think that you would, especially with all this wiring. Yeah. Do you want to walk to the bar, behind the bar, or where do you want to walk next? Bathroom, and then I'll do the bar, because okay. I want to figure out. What's going on with this female? So here, but it was already pointed out when I got here because they were talking about it. Um, she is the same female that's been back there. She hangs out here. She basically has the run of the bar. Um, there are conversations up here and around the bar. And it's between her, the male downstairs, and the children that are downstairs. The children don't belong to her, but they're they're just here. Um, they're responsible for opening the bathroom doors and slamming them. The children? The children are. And when 
the lady was washing the dishes and the potpourri thing came flying at her, or just came flying and went on the floor. That was one of the children that did that. Why would, why would there be children here, though? Logging camp. Families that mm -hmm. worked Families here? Families that worked there. I wonder if anyone's heard her. It's kind of the same thing in a sense that the other one does it happy sometimes. They'll hear her like sobbing or crying in the stalls. Mm -hmm. It's the male and the female. They're actually, oh wait, there are actually two males here. One used to be a patron of the bar. So he knows the people that work Is he there. a recent patron or? He's recent. I don't know how, he says recent. I don't know how recent, but he says he's recent. He's the one that's when he, when he tries to get people's attention, kind of like what the rest of them do. He'll move or he'll shatter glasses. He doesn't understand why this is a bar, as far as the gentleman from the logging place, because I'm kind of getting, I'm going back, between the four, uh, back and forth between the two of them. And so the one that was, the, that was here in the logging camp was here, doesn't like the way things look here because it's not what he was used to when he was alive. And the one that was that passed away that was recent, this has happy memories for him. So he just decided to come back here. He's not here all the time, but he's here a lot. And then out there, um, just conversations. Oh, you can hear conversations around different parts of the bar. And like something messing with the front door and the, the doors back there that leads into the TV bar and the patio. And they like hiding in corners up here because if they have a full bar, they'll be, we see different ones, including the kids hanging out in the corners. And like the kids have even come up and got interactive because they're, the, they're at the right height to where you can be sitting at the bar so you feel like, you know, when the kid tug on your leg, mm -hmm. your pant leg. That seems to happen here. And that's all I'm getting. All right, so this is Nick, Jen, Candace in the liquor room in the basement. Going to do a spirit box session. I got it on AM, going in reverse. How old are you? I got that's a machine turn. How old are you? Thank you. 
bridge. What's your name? It may be weird for you to see this or hear this noise or whatever, but the idea is you can speak through the static of this radio. The idea is you can speak through the static of this radio. Hard to Haunted. 
I don't really think so. I think there are definitely spirits that visit the place. Uh, past patrons, people that lived on that property and loved the land there. But I don't think there's anything negative there. I don't think there's anything to worry about necessarily. I just think that uh, just like anywhere, people are coming back to visit to a place that they truly cared about. Part 2 has been a bar restaurant for years and years. Before that, it was a lumber camp. And before that, God knows what was on that property. Up here in northern Wisconsin, there's a lot of history of timber companies and railroad stuff. So there's a lot of history on all these properties up here that we don't really know about. So maybe there are people that lived on that land 100 years ago that are still there wondering why people are partying so much on that property. Who knows? But I do think it was very important at the end of the video that we asked about co-mingling and that they just want to get along and we got to thank you. I think that's really important. And I think the staff and patrons of Heart 2 have nothing to worry about. It's just a nice restaurant to go to and the staff there is really nice. If you want to know more about stuff like this, you can follow the Northern Wisconsin Paranormal Society on Facebook, and you can also check out the nwiparanormal.com website. Like and subscribe to the channel for more investigations like this.